So, you bought the penthouse. That's wonderful. Nice to see you again. Hello, Miss Baker. Oh, hello, Tom. Uh, boss, do you need any help with, with Mr. Cheng, perhaps? No, Tom. That'll be all. Uh, maybe some champagne. Uh, good idea. Why not? So listen, um, if you need any advice about, well, anything, but in particular business here, Tom's the person to speak to. And always happy to oblige. This truly is a happy day. I must show you around your new home. Uh, Miss Baker, are you sure I can't help with uh, Mr... Uh... You know, maybe that would be a good idea. <laughs> Tommy boy! I got go back uh, uh, home! Mr. Chang. <laughs> Oh, what danger, oh, 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 he's totally fucked like a melon. I, I mean, the job stresses have been... This is been... Mr. Chang, our our owner. Mr. Chang? Oh, what is that that you be like? <laughs> the good news, sir, is we have sold the penthouse to this lucky man. Oh, let's hug out! <laughs> oh, what I need. What time are I so linear? <laughs> Rehab has not worked out so well. His uncle, there's a lot of pressure. To... Well, people, isn't this a happy day? <laughs> Get the champagne. Oh, champagne! Oh, 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 Mr. Yeah. Chang, I, I had another aggressive call from the Texans, from Avery Duggan. He said you've been pretty rude. The takeover is turning hostile. Let's have this champagne. Oh, we're the karaoke machine! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, like, uh, Mr. Chang said he's very sorry, but he's under a lot of stress. He didn't say that at all. Oh. No, but he meant it. Whatever. Avery Duggan is not a nice man. This won't be good for business. If he's serious, he's not above blackmail. Jeez. The truth is, well, his uncle is a Kowloon murderer who's made it clear he will kill all of us if this place fails and brings disgrace to his privileged nephew. But that isn't the serious problem. The real problem is Avery Duggan. Yes, the Texan asset stripper who's realized we're fucked and is putting all kinds of heat on us to sell at knockdown prices after he's destroyed this place and your apartment and my career in the process. Anyway, welcome to your new home. I've got to go. Well. If you need anything at all, you know where to find me. You know, I became a liberal at a very young age. My parents were violent. We're about to start the flashback sequence, so please wiggle back and forth for me now. Okay. My parents moved here as immigrants from Vice City and built a huge empire. Exploiting people mercilessly. My father made a fortune strip mining, boiling, dumping toxic pollution, and marketing tobacco. He's a womanizer. And much more interestingly, he belittled me constantly. And then he died before he could write me out of his will. And so I became the majority shareholder in a huge multinational company. I traveled the world. I joined lots of NGOs and did what any other impossibly rich, sexually confused rich kid does. Became a superhero. Through the art of self-meditation, yoga, and a freak green energy accident, which gave me unnatural godlike powers, I became... Impotent Rage 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 Rage! Wait, what's that? What is it? It's my echo sense going off. Batman isn't recycling! Hey! Neanderthal! Do you know what century it is? Recycle that soda can! Or I'll come down there and teach you a lesson you won't forget in a hurry! <laughs> I can't stand being disrespected like this! The fuck she cut me! Braxton, quick! Yes, to the anger room!
Hello, this is Agatha, the casino and resort manager, again. Look, I tried to explain this in your penthouse, but here it is. The diamond may look brand new and sparkling, but it's actually in trouble. The rebuild went way over budget, and the Chings had to refinance. The new debt came from these Texans, the Duggins, and now they want to take over completely. They're a multinational with interests in oil and gas, security services, and gambling. And if they buy us, they will strip out everything they can. Every contract will be undercut, including your ownership of the penthouse. So, if you want to help us get out of this, come see me in my office by table games. There has been a development. If you do help, and this works out positively, there could be a significant dividend in it for you. affected my fracking prowess. Oh, oh, yeah! I do love big, delicious penises. You have to help us, impotent rage. We'll be an oppressed. No I've had about enough of your Stone Age outrage. You angry conservatives are all pent-up homosexuals yourselves! Hey, but we're not conservatives. We're protesters. Hey, what's going on? What are you doing? should sort things out for everyone. You just keep on fracking, boys. Does anyone want a photo for their life invader page? I really do exist. And I prove not all closeted rich guys are creepy. <laughs> oh, impotent rage. You're such an ignoramus. Overman. You littering fag. I was wondering when you turn up. Oh, my suit is so fancy. This suit is actually pleasuring me right now. Mm. Oh, oh, who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Yang! You worked yourself up into such a liberal lather that you actually ended up helping the opposition. <laughs> These are natural gas wells that pollute the environment, not three old queens into P and P. What? Oh, no, no! What have I done? <laughs> Maybe I'll donate some money to charities. Uh, build a statue of a kid in a wheelchair? That will clear my conscience. I've come to save the day again from you. The common herd needs a genetically superior synthetic fiber-clad sociopath lunatic to look up to. Not a soy latte sipping dweeb with a flaxen... Well, you get the point. But first, I'm off to drill some oil wells in environmentally sensitive wetlands. <laughs> 